Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and on today's video we're going to compare two fragrances from the house of Armani. So I have here two fragrances from the house of Armani. This is part of the Armani Privé collection. These are labeled as the Precious, uh, I believe it's Terra, Les Terra's Precious or something like that. It's in French. I'm not sure why it's in French. Armani is an Italian brand but they label a lot of things in French. What the name of this collection translates to is Precious Lands, and there's quite a few in this collection. So there is a Blue Lazuli, there's Blue Tanzanite, there is something Turquoise, there is Magenta Tanzanite, uh, there is also Rouge Malachite, which we have here, and we also have Verde Malachite. I believe there's some other ones that have gotten the axe or have gotten discontinued, but these are two which are essentially the same fragrance. They're a sister fragrance, just the green version and the red version. Uh, so we're going to compare both of these to see which one is better for you, which one is my favorite, which one has a better longevity, which one has a better performance, and which one has the ultimate better smell. So both of these were launched in 2016 and they were launched as a dual fragrance pair. They were essentially done by two different perfumers. So Rouge Malachite was done by Pascal Gourion. I will list it down here below because I'm probably butchering that. I'm terrible with last names and names themselves. Then we have Verte Malachite, which was also launched in 2016. This one was done by Fabrice Pelligrine. I will also list it down here below. So starting out with the most popular one, because Rouge Malachite obviously has a cold following. It's a very popular scent. It's a very nice, sophisticated white floral scent with some spices in there, lots of amber and some woody elements in it. It's a very nice fragrance for when it comes to fall and winter, but it's also a very nice romantic and seductive fragrance overall. Obviously, you can tell that by the vibe that they're going for with this actual fragrance, because obviously being red, that means passion, that means seduction, that means a lot of different things, but we'll get into the packaging really quickly here. This is what the packaging looks like for Rouge Malachite. It's a very nice red bottle. It has a very beautiful lacquered-like finish to it. These are uh, solid glass. This one, you can see through it, so if you actually put your flashlight to it, you are able to see where you are at with your fragrance. Um, I actually like these kind of bottles because unless I want to know what's inside of the bottle, I don't like to see that it's going empty. I get anxiety over that. I'm probably some psychotic person that does that, but you know, let me know if you were one of those down in the comments as well. Then we have Verte Malachite, which is essentially the same thing here. It's a green bottle. It's just a green version of that. I tend to like the red one, but red is my favorite color. So that is obviously the reason for that. But you also can see through this one, not as much as with Rouge Malachite but you can see where you are at with your fragrance as well. Very nice packaging. They are very heavy. They are very solid fragrance bottles. I do like them myself. I do like that they have changed the color for each fragrance, although some of them can be a little bit deceiving. For example, Blue Lazuli, I expected a lot more of a lighter fragrance, a lot more of a more playful fragrance, and we got something that was sweet and deep <laughs> So it doesn't really go with blue. When you think blue fragrance, you think aquatics, you think fresh light ones. But we're not talking about blue lesbian. We're talking about both of these here. And starting off with the notes themselves, these only share three different notes, which is going to be Ilong Ilong, Benzoin, and Jasmine Sandback Absolute. So other than that, we're not getting any notes here that are going to be essentially the same thing. Are we getting the same blueprint of a fragrance? Sure. I think it's a white floral fragrance with spices in it. I will say that upon first spray, Vert Malachite is definitely a lot more of a spicier scent than Rouge Malachite. The interesting thing is that if we go through the notes of this one, at the top we're going to get Petit Grain and Orange. In our heart notes, we're going to get Ylang Ylang and Jasmine. And in the base, we're going to get White Lily, Vanilla, and Benzoin. So there's no spices listed here whatsoever. So it's a little unusual as to why it's actually more spicy when you first get it. I did a review on both of these fragrances separately, and the review that I actually gave, I said that Verte Malachite was a lot more similar to Hypnotic Poison when you first sprayed it, and then it changed completely. It became a lot more lighter. It became a lot more wearable. It became a lot more easy going, if you will. But I will say one thing about this fragrance overall is that it's not my favorite out of the two, and I'll be completely transparent with you. I like this one. I like the color of it. I like the vibe of it. I do like this one too, but I believe that it's a little bit more harder to wear. It's a little bit more 
you know, dress up. It's a little bit more, you know, a specific type of environment that you're going to go to or a specific type of event. Something that Rouge Malachite doesn't have to be with. Rouge Malachite is one of those fragrances that although it kind of leans a little bit more dressy, it does give you a little bit of a casual vibe. Once it dries down, it becomes a very soft, seductive fragrance. Verte Malachite kind of has a hard time with that because it's not as versatile. It's a little bit more dressed up. It's a little bit more formal. And it's a very specific type of formal event. It's a very like suit and tie, bow tie, you know, long gala type of event that you would wear this fragrance to. It's a little hard to have a fragrance like this unless you're going to a lot of very expensive and sexy events. With Rouge Malachite, we're going to get Pink Pepper at the top as well as Sage. In the heart notes, we're going to get Tuberose, Orange Blossom, Ylang Ylang, and Jasmine Sandback Absolute. So both of these share that Jasmine Absolute in this fragrance overall. Then in the base, we're going to get Amber Extreme, and that's a trademark note, so it's a synthetic component. It's kind of like an Ambroxan or an Aldehyde, except this one is trademarked. That means that it's an exclusive note to a lab. In this case, I'm assuming that is to the, either the perfumer or to L'Oreal, because L'Oreal is the manufacturer and distributor of this fragrance overall. Then we also get Cashmere Wood and Benzoin in the base with this fragrance itself. So... This fragrance is very different to Vertmali Kite, although they do share the same blueprint, so that very sexy, spicy, sultry type of vibe when you first spray them. This is going to be the more casual version of this one. I will say that this one's going to be more spicy, more seductive, more dressy, uppy. Uh, it's a little bit more old school, if you will, so it can lean a little bit more grandma. Um, I don't know <laughs> if you're going to get offended by that, but it kind of can lean grandma if you overdo it. Now, Rouge Malachite, although it has that same type of vibe to it, it does become soft. You start to get more of that white lily in this fragrance, more of that beautiful Ylang Ylang. That amber and that cashmere wood start to come out and play, and you get those little hints of pink pepper that reminisce through this entire dry down of the fragrance itself. I will say that this one's a lot more versatile, it's a lot more easy to use, a lot more wearable. But with that being said, it's one of those fragrances that I can't say is incredibly unique. I do think that this one has a little bit more uniqueness factor to it and more of an it factor. So I would say that both of these are very different in the aspect that if you're going to go to an event and you want, you want everyone to turn around and look at you and say, oh, this person smells good. They are confident. They are sophisticated. They are over the top, but they know what they want in life. Then I would certainly say that that's not like I, it's probably the one for you. And if you are a person that also wants to impact the room and say, hey, everyone, turn around and look at me. I am very sexy, seductive, and sultry, but I am very serious and down to work. I would definitely say that this one, Le Rouge Malachite, is definitely the one for you. Both of them are the same price, so they are pretty pricey, just so you are aware. So if you get a 50 ml size bottle or 1.7 fluid ounces, the cost that you would be paying is 231 US dollars. So that's quite a bit of money, you know, quite a bit of money for 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounces. If you want to get the bigger size, which is the one that I have here today with me, it's going to be 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounces. The cost that you would be paying is 340 US dollars. So it's pretty expensive. Um, obviously, you get better savings whenever you get the bigger bottle because it does come down to be cheaper whenever you do the calculation of price per mil. But that is quite a bit of a commitment to get to this fragrance if you are not a fan of them. I would definitely say that both of these are fragrances that you probably want to smell in person because if you're not a fan of white florals, if you're not a fan of spice, if you're not a fan of overly creamy type of scents, then I would certainly say that these are probably not going to be your best friends because they can lean a little bit more feminine, they can lean a little bit more formal, a little bit more dressed up, but they are fragrances that definitely do wear very nicely. They are very compatible with a person's skin, and what I mean by that is that they change completely from person to person. And because they change completely from person to person, that really makes these fragrances very unique, very sophisticated, and very different. And I do like both of them for very different reasons. My favorite, like I said, is probably going to be Rouge Malachite because I can lean more to grab this one. The dry down is incredible. The dry down, like I said, is very cashmere wood. It's very ambery. It has that ylang ylang and those white floral touches to it. But it's soft. It's delicate. It comes close to the skin. But you still have projection. So you, when you walk by someone, you still get attention with Rouge Malachite. Vert Malachite, you also get that. But Vert Malachite becomes a little bit more 
of the same thing, if you will, but a little bit more spicy, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more green as it should be because it's in a green bottle for crying out loud. Definitely let me know which one you like of these the best. Do you like either one of them? Do you hate them both? Which one have you tried? Have you not tried any of them at all? I would love to know all of your guys' opinions down here in the comments. Also make sure to give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more fragrance-related content. I hope to see you guys on next time's video. Until next time, take care. Bye.